Hi and Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Visual Programming Class. Before that, please subscribe, like and share. So today we will go for the introduction to the Visual Programming. So this is Visual Basic 2017 and currently we have Visual Basic 2019. So what is the Visual Programming? Visual Programming is even driven computer program with a graphical user interface so that's mean you need to program a computer program with the graphical user interface what is the graphical user interface something that you can see in your eyes for example button to click or text box that display any text yeah, this is example of a form that we will use in the visual programming okay for example here we have form with echo number so step by step step one you need to key in the data key in the data and then the data will be stored in the memory and then uh, it will display when you click on the button so the but click on the button is the event driven process or what we call as the event that we need in order to allow or to enable your program uh, to process something so when you uh, when your program process something it will display the output so these are the type of uh, output devices it can be your phone screens it can be a printer it can be a documentation and others type of uh, device output so there are the steps that you need to follow when you want to design a program or application using the uh, visual basic or visual programming the first one okay the first one you need to design the interface after you design the interface you need to write down the properties of each object inside the interface your interface uh, may consist of the form so inside the form it may be have text file or it may be have the uh, text box button so those text box label button uh, combo box check box are known as objects so in a form we have objects and the second step you need to write down properties for each object at the properties window you need to identify what are the suitable properties for each object and then the third part you plan and you write down your codes what your program should do okay the next part we go for the example okay let's say here we have a form with a text box inside the text box we have the text file the text uh, the text label and then we have four button the button that we have is background for red background blue text white text yellow this is button 1 button 2 button 3 button 4 this one is text file and this text file with a text write down as hello world so how to create this form when you create a new project here when you create a new project you need to name your project as any other's name okay you can it can be windows application it can be testing it can be hello world it can be form one form two form three okay for example so after you create a new project you will find a plain uh, form so go to the tools box and you can drag down any object here inside to put inside your form after you design your interface then after you drag drop you can design your interface you can drag here drag to here or put it at the center part so this is the process of design the interface after you design the interface the next part you need to plan or identify what are the suitable properties for each object so this one is object for each object of 
uh, what are the suitable properties for each object. So, for example, here we have text bond. So you can go for the uh, properties window here. This one is the properties window, and then you can change the text box text decide into hello world. Okay, this one you can change into other point. Maybe you can say apa khabar. Okay, then it will change. Okay, the next part you have button one. And then you can see a lot of properties for button one. So this one is in order to change your text on your button. So this is button one based on this name, button one. And then we have button two, button three, and button four. Okay, for example, button one, when we want to check the color, you can go for the back color in order to change the color just click on here and then choose your col color that you want after you put all the properties of each object the next part you can double click on the button and then go for the programming part so for example here when you click on the button one okay the text box one which is refer to uh, this text box uh, the text box one back color will change to the red ok the next part you go for button number 2 double click on it and then when you click on button number 2 you change it will change the background color to blue ok for button 3 when you click on the button Okay, this one is the event click on the button which is click so it will change the uh, the f the four color means the text box uh, the text inside the text box color into white and for button 4 when you click on the button it will change uh, the four color of text box 1 into yellow okay so this one is your class inside your class you have private sub sub here is refer to the sub program so after you done you can click on the start you click on the background red button button one it will change the background color when you change uh, click on the background blue it will change the background color of the text box once and then when you click on button three it will change the four color into white and when you click on the fourth button it will change the four color into the yellow color so that's all for this video and see you next class